This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. And this is Monster My Podcast. And this is Cynothoglis. There's a monster in my podcast. Yes, the, the highlight of these two weeks. Mm. The mortician god. Love this. Yeah. Incredibly good description in the uh yep. the, the Thomas Legati excerpt here. Yep. Yeah. And it's only a couple of paragraphs. Like this is a really short entry, but it's mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So it's it's kind of like a monolith type type object. Yet there is something in its contours, a certain dynamism, like that of a great, uh, like that of great crab like roots springing forth from the ground. Crab like mm-hmm. roots. Yes. Yeah. 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 Very very cool. And everything about this is cool. Like this is the death god. Yeah. Uh, the death great old one. Uh, nobody worships it because that will lead to death. Mm-hmm. Um, and this awesome thing, like any contact with a great old one or one of its statues produces a dreamy hypnotic state. Uh, if you can't resist the pow, the person under it, uh, the power of the mortician God experiences visions and daydreams of their own demise. Um, eventually you're visited by the great old one in person where uh, you calmly await uh, the end and walk willingly into the clutches of the entity. And what's funny um, is you don't actually suffer like the ill effects of yeah. losing sanity. Like you're unless it, someone tells you about it or unless you figure per- it out. Perfectly reasonable. You're just hovering in the air, uh, not realizing yep. that there's nothing beneath you. Yep. Uh and a thick fog heralds the arrival of the mortician god, sometimes forming days before. Mm. How good is that? It just I, like, and, it, and because it is monolithic, I just picture it erupting from the ground. Mm-hmm. Yep. Animals in the every sentence of this is pure gold. Yeah. Like this whole thing is very good. Animals in an area about to be visited by the great old one exhibit unusual behavior, such as carnivores killing prey and arranging them in neat patterns instead of eating it. Are you fucking kidding me? Like there, there's a spot in the woods where the fog is setting that won't uh, divest and foxes are arranging voles in eldritch patterns there. <laughs> Ah, like I know it is. It is like this is the payoff that we have been waiting for for this like these two weeks. Yeah, that's so goddamn good. And I I love the idea that like you don't know that you're dying. Like you're just walking in this trance. There's a monolith there. Maybe the other person sees the monolith and does not understand the significance of it. Right. They're like, hey Kevin, Kevin, hey Kevin, hey Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> and then the, and then there's the fucking psychoanalyst guy comes up and it's just like, well, I believe that Kevin's uh, actually suffering from um, a fugue state. Ah! Bam. Kevin gets exploded out of the back of his head <laughs> as he's uh, he realizes what's happening, but it's too late. He's being drawn into the clutches of the mortician god. Not being drawn, this, like, he's walking willingly. He's it walking willingly. Him to. But you know that once he actually has the sanity thing, you know he's not going to stop. Well, yeah. You know, like that's it's so cinematic. Like the idea that you're walking towards it and then you stop, you realize that you don't want to be, but you keep walking. Uh huh. Like, God, like, why is this guy not showing up at the Lovecraft Film Festival short film thing? It's so good. It's so cheap. Like, it'd be so cheap to do, right? You just need a monolith. Like, we could make this movie. Mm -hmm. You know, we could make a short film out of this for like 900 bucks. Yeah. Uh, So good. Yeah. So good. Love it. I I like it's so good that I don't know that I can make a joke about it. No, no, this doesn't need. This is just a cool hook. Like, take this and run with it. Like, people who do horror stuff in games like this is your your blessing that like hey there's a fog that won't go away it's been there for four days and also you know uh my cat uh has been in a trance and keeps bringing me mice in the shape of upside down crosses <laughs> you know or something like that like fuck man something bad is going to happen to this forest village yeah oh yeah. gosh and everybody's just talking with certainty about how they're going to die yeah everyone like, no, like, like not at all disturbed about it it's just very matter of fact you, you you arrive in a village and this is that's the only topic in like coffee shops and shit. Yeah, it's just everyone talking about the day they'll die. I want to read the you story, know? Gary. Uh, yeah, I, I want to read the story. Like, I've heard that Thomas Ligotti is like pretty legit. Yeah, uh, and creating this like honestly, like this is awesome. It speaks it speaks uh, very well to his credit. Yeah, one of my favorite things in the book so far. So yeah, kudos to you, Thomas Ligotti. Brought to you by our backers at Patreon.com/slash DuckFeedTV. 